Hi guys. Now, for subtopic 4.3, okay, I'm going to teach you about latent heat and specific latent heat. Now, earlier, my last video, I've already taught you on uh, heat capacity and specific heat capacity. Okay, what's the difference between uh, the earlier video and latent heat and specific latent heat? Now, the most obvious difference is, guys, Latent heat and specific latent heat involve the change, okay, of the state of the material, okay? That means from solid, liquid, liquid to gas and the other way around, latent heat or specific latent heat involves the change of the state of the material. Now, for me to explain to you this uh, easier, guys, eh? let's just say I'm giving you over here a heating graph okay a graph of temperature in degree celsius versus time and let's just say over here we are boiling water okay now when we boil water over here example we have a graph over here that looks like this okay now I want to take your attention over here to a few points, uh, guys. Uh. Okay, let's just label this as A, B, C, and D. Okay? Now, we understand that point A to point B. Okay? This is where the temperature over here increases. From B to C, you can clearly see that the temperature does not increase. Am I right, guys? Okay. So, when I'm asking you, what is latent heat or specific latent heat? It refers to this point that you're looking over here, guys. Okay, it refers to this point. The symbol over here for specific latent heat is given to us over here as L. Okay, this is the symbol for your specific latent heat. So basically, if I'm heating up one kilogram of water, just put it here as heating up one kilogram of water. Heating one kilogram of water so this is my l okay from b to c over here it refers over here to the boiling point okay now from b to c over here the amount of energy needed for that particular water over here to change its state of matter from liquid to gas you see guys eh? from a to b it's going to be in liquid form Correct? That is from A to B. From B to C, it's going to over here be in liquid plus gas. And the moment it touches C to D, it's going to be purely in gas form. So A to B liquid, B to C liquid plus gas. Because all horizontal lines like this, guys, in this kind of graphs, uh, will always be two states of matter. But... From B to C, it tells me that how much heat energy is needed to change that liquid over here to gas. Okay, so that B to C does not involve any change in over here your temperature. The temperature remains constant until over here your liquid starts to change to gas. Okay, so over here guys, heat absorbed during the change of the state of material. So B to C is your latent heat. Okay, now the formula that you will use for specific latent heat included inside is Q equals to m l okay your q refers over here to the heat absorbed or to the heat released m refers to the mass in kilogram your l refers to the specific latent heat okay now view my next video for an example where i'm going to combine both my specific latent heat and also over here specific heat capacity all right